Hi, welcome to Serena Innovation's first webinar event. I'm Edgar Cabrera, the Head of Customer Service, and I'll be your host today. Feel free to type any questions as we go along, and we will have a Q&A session at the end of the show. Today we're going to review Serena Innovation's new product, the Central Alert CA360 Wireless Notification System and its accessories. Let's take a look. The CA360 is compact and stylish, and its icons are big and easy to see from a distance. It comes with a weather-resistant and easy-to-install doorbell and a powerful bed shaker. It is ready to be used right out of the box. Just plug it in and you'll become fully aware of what's happening around you. There is also a wide selection of affordable sensors and accessories for easy customizing. The CA360 alerts you in three different ways. The first is with a built-in bright flasher, the second is with a powerful bed shaker, and the third is by indicating the source of the alarm with its icons on a large display. Here's the central alert display box. It's an attractive full color display box in English and French. On the back is a large quick read illustration showing the functions of the unit at a glance. Let's take a look inside. Here we have the master unit wrapped in a bubble wrap bag, a wireless doorbell inside its own corrugated box, a bed shaker also in its own corrugated box, an AC adapter, and a phone cord. In this plastic bag is a user's manual and a quick guide. The quick guide tells you all the essential and basic operations in just 60 seconds. Here is how to get the 360 up and running. The phone cord is connected to the phone jack, the AC adapter is plugged into the wall, and the bed shaker is plugged into the 360 unit. Now that the unit is plugged in and ready to go, let's go over some of the features and controls, starting with the front of the CA360 unit. The first warning signal that we see in the front of the CA360 unit is a large flasher. It creates a powerful warning signal with its six LED lights. This light can also double as a portable flashlight in case of emergencies, operating off its own battery pack. As you can see, one of the biggest features of the CA360 is the display. With its large 1.8 inch tall digits, it can be seen from across the room, whether the room is lit or in darkness. On the top left side of the display, we have an AM indicator with the sunrise icon. The light will be on in the AM and goes off at 12 noon PM. Below that icon on the left side is an alarm clock icon with the number one and a light to the right of it. When you set your alarm, this light will be on until the alarm sounds and you manually turn it on. On the upper right of the display are the words master unit with a light on the left. If this light is on, it means that this unit is a master unit. If you have other units tied into the system, this light will not be on. Below that icon on the right side is an alarm clock icon with a number two and a light to the left of it. This alarm works in the same manner as the alarm number one and allows you to have two alarms set at different times. Below the display, you'll find a series of six icons that light up when they are activated. Let's take a close look at each icon. Later in the program, we'll examine how they are hooked up and how they work. The first icon on the left is the doorbell sensor. To the right is a baby crying icon. The next two icons are phone one and phone two for people with two phone lines. The next icon is a home, which represents the audio alarm sensor. And the last icon to the right depicts an intruder for motion detection. Below the icons, we have two switches, one on the left and one on the right. These are the controls for your alarm clocks. They each have the same three settings. In the far left position is the all setting, which means the master unit will start flashing, create an audio sound, and activate the bed shaker. The center position is for the bed shaker and the flasher only.
and the far right is the opposition when no alarm is selected. The icon in the center of these switches is a symbol for NOAA, the weather alert system. In order for this alarm to operate, you must have a NOAA weather alert radio plugged into the CA360. When a storm alert is issued, the radio will trigger the 360 to alert you. That's a quick look at the front of the 360 and its display. Let's look on the top of the unit, the left side and the right side. Then we'll get to all the jacks in the back. And last but not least, the battery backup compartment on the bottom of the unit. As you look down on the 360, you will see the large resets news button. This button performs two functions. The first is a reset. When the 360 has been activated by one of its sensors, you need to push the button to reset the sensor. The second is a snooze, and we all know what this is. Push it and get five minutes of extra sleep. A long two second press of the same button turns off the alarm until the next day. In the upper right corner, there are two buttons. The one on the left is labeled SOS test and the one on the right is labeled motion. The SOS test button is an important button. The first function is to test the SOS mode. When it is pressed, it will activate the flasher, the bed shaker, and display the message SOS on the display. The second function is to activate the learn mode. This will allow you to link up a new sensor to the 360. The other button labeled motion is for arming the motion sensor and to reset it once it has been triggered. On the left side of the unit, we have the volume switch. This controls the volume of the sound that the 360 generates. It has three settings, off, low, and high. The right side of the unit has a switch above and two buttons below. The top switch has four settings. The top position is labeled time. This setting is to set the clock. In this position, push the hour button to set the hour and the minute button to set the minutes. Then slide the switch to run. The other two positions are for setting alarm one and alarm two. Okay. Now that we have covered most of the CA360, let's take a look at the jacks in the back and the battery compartment on the bottom. As we look at the back of the unit, you can see a pattern of drilled holes up top. This is a speaker for the 360. On each side, there's a hole bracket for hanging the unit on the wall if desired. Below the speaker are two small hooks for anchoring the bed shaker cord to help keep it plugged in. Below the speaker are the plug-in jacks. From left to right, we have the external lap flasher, shaker 1, shaker 2, the AC adaptive port, phone 2, phone 1 and on the far right, the jack for connecting your NOAA radio. If we look at the bottom of the unit, you can see a compartment cover with finger grips at the top. Remove the cover and it will reveal the battery compartment. This holds four AA rechargeable batteries. It is extremely important to use rechargeable batteries. Regular batteries can cause leakage and damage the CA360 unit. So let's take a quick overview of the CA360 controls. Now I want to go back to the icons on the front of the unit and with some graphics and demonstrations, show how each icon and accessory works. The first icon on the left is the doorbell sensor. This alerts you when someone is ringing at the doorbell. As you can see, the display also shows DR1. If you purchase additional doorbells for the other doors, you can easily follow the user's manual to designate each doorbell as door 1, 2, or 3, and so on. The display will also show a doorbell number to alert you which door has a visitor. The doorbell can be easily installed on the outside of your home, but if not, you can use the accessory the CADX sensor. This will work with your existing doorbell channel or door intercom. To the right of the door is the baby crying icon. This monitors the sounds of your baby. It sends a wireless signal to trigger the 360 master unit. 
It operates in real time and stops when your baby stops. This eliminates the need to reset the alarm manually every time it is activated. The next two icons are Phone 1 and Phone 2. They activate when the phone on that line is ringing. The next icon is a home, which represents the sound alarm sensor. This detects the sound of all your audio alarm systems, smoke, gas, and fire. The CA360 is the only alarm system that is programmed for both T3 and T4 alarm systems. You can install it next to your existing alarms for sound detection or wire it directly to your alarms. The icon on the far right depicts an intruder and activates when a motion sensor is tripped. It sends a wireless signal to activate the CA360. The motion detector CAMX is an accessory and will not be available until March of 2012. Last but not least is the NOAA alarm icon on the center of the unit just below phone 1 and phone 2. Connect the sensor to your NOAA radio and when there is a storm warning, it will trigger the CA360 to warn you. I think that covers the CA360 controls and functions. Now I have two important accessories I would like to show you. One is the SOS help button and the second is the CARX remote unit. The emergency help button, model CASOS, is for summoning help in emergency. If help is needed, push this button to trigger the CA360. This will alert others in the house of your emergency. It has a range of 200 feet. You can wear it around your neck or mount it on the wall. And because it's waterproof, you can even install it in the shower. The second accessory is a CARX remote receiver. This portable receiver keeps you informed when you're away from the 360 master unit. It also has a range of 200 feet. It alerts you to all the same activities monitored by the 360, so you will never miss anything anywhere in your home. Since we are on the subject of accessories, let's recap what comes in the package with the main unit and many of the accessories that are available and will be available in the future. The retail box contains the master unit, the doorbell ringer, and the bed shaker. The CAAX audio alarm sensor is available now. This sensor alerts you to all your other existing audio alarms in your home. The CABX baby sound sensor is available now and monitors the sounds of your baby in real time. The CARX remote receiver, available in March of 2012. This is a portable receiver that keeps you informed when you're away from the 360 master unit. The range is 200 feet. The model NOAA storm warning alert is available now. It connects to a NOAA radio and alerts you to storm activity. The model CADX door chime intercom knocking sensor is available now. It alerts you to a doorbell ringing or someone knocking at the door. The model RF200 cell phone ringer is available in March of 2012. It detects a vibration or the ringing of your parked cell phone. This sensor sends a wireless signal to trigger the CA360. The model CAMX motion detector sensor is available in March of 2012. It will detect the presence of any motion in the monitored area and sends a wireless signal to the CA360. The model CADB doorbell sensor is available now. It is for extra doorbells that you may want to add to monitor. You can add up to four of these. The model CA SOS emergency help button is available now. When help or attention is needed, push this button to trigger the CA360 to alert others in the house. It's also waterproof.
the model CALX lamp flasher connector is available in March of 2012. It allows you to plug in a lamp to the connector and create a second flasher to notify you that your CA360 has been triggered. The model BS100 extra bed shaker is available now if you would like to add an extra bed shaker to the second alarm. The model CADXH door knocking sensor hanger is available in March of 2012. It lets you hang our motion detector sensor on a door so you can detect someone knocking. Now that we have reviewed the CA360 and its line of accessories, let's see how it stacks up against its competition, the Clarity Alert Master AL10. Here's a few reasons why the CA360 is a better choice. What distinguishes the CA360 from similar products like the AL10? Unlike the competitor's product, the CA360 uses the latest 2.4 GHz transmission technology that provides the most reliable operation and the longest range. Not only does it cover every corner of your home, it is not prone to interference from any other electrical signals, making it virtually free of false alarms. Here's a photo of the Clarity AL10. Its old wireless technology requires an unsightly external antenna. Take a look at the size difference. The AL10 requires a much larger footprint for sitting on a nightstand as compared to the CA360. Instead of just one phone line connection, the CA360 features two phone lines. The extra line can be used for a fax or a video phone. Unlike the AL10 and other systems, the CA360 is the only system that will respond to virtually all audio alarms, including fire, smoke, and CO2 alarms, no matter if they are in compliance with either T3 or T4 alarm sound patterns. The CA360 is the only system that will work with NOAA radios to alert you of any storm warnings. In short, the CA360 is the most reliable, the easiest to use, and it offers the most coverage among all similar systems on the market. And at a MSRP of $179.95, it offers the most value too. Okay, that concludes our presentation. I hope the last segment answered some of your questions. And always, with Serene Innovation products, you can find dealer help for images, flyers, and technical support on our website.